So, today two members of the United States Congress announced that they were leaving office. First, there was New York Republican Congressman Chris Lee who got caught sending shirtless photos of himself to a woman who was not his wife. Isn't it refreshing to see a politician giving someone the shirt off of his back? Yes, he contacted some woman on Craigslist who was complaining that all the men on CL, do people really call it CL, that all the men there looked like toads. Actually, I think toads are probably a cut above most of the guys cruising the Craigslist social scene. Come on, Craigslist? Really? You want to hook up in the same place you sold that old couch that your cat peed on? But like any good public servant, Chris Lee sent herself a picture of himself, bare-chested. But then he had to ruin it all by lying about his identity and his age. You know, he said that he was 39 instead of 46. Really? You thought seven years would make a difference to a woman willing to go out with a guy who takes half-naked pictures of himself and then sends them to strangers? On the internet? But on the Democratic side, there's Senator Jim Webb from Virginia, who's retiring after only one term. Remember, he's the guy who got elected because George Allen, the Republican, called a young Indian American a macaca, or basically a monkey. But, you know, that's all ancient history, because George Allen wants that old seat of his back, except that the Tea Party doesn't want him to get it. They've got their own candidate who's going to challenge him, because, after all, calling a man a monkey is only one step away from calling a monkey man's ancestor and then we're teaching evolution in the schools and letting Muslims have mosques and then the next thing you know that caliphate that Glenn Beck keeps talking about will be taking over the U.S. and then Congressman Chris Lee's problems will be all over because he'll be able to buy as many wives as he wants on Craigslist.